Beta blockers are indicated and have an FDA approval to treat tachycardia, hypertension, myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, cardiac arrhythmias, as well as hyperthyroidism, and even migraine prophylaxis. Starting with an overview of beta receptors, they exist in the body in three distinct forms, beta 1, 2, and 3. Beta 1 is located primarily in the heart and mediates cardiac activity. Beta 2, however, exists throughout the body, in many organ systems, and controls various aspects of the metabolic activity, and induces smooth muscle relaxation. Beta 3 receptors induce the breakdown of fat cells, and are less clinically relevant at present. To understand the mechanism of action of beta blockers, we have to understand how do beta adrenoceptors work. In this figure, we can see how the heart has both beta 1 and beta 2 receptors. Although predominantly beta 1, these receptors normally bind to adrenaline or noradrenaline, released from nerve endings or circulating in the bloodstream. Beta receptors are coupled with GS protein, which activates adenylyl cyclase to form CAMB from ATP. Increased CAMP activates CAMP dependent protein kinase that phosphorylates L type calcium channel, which causes increased calcium entry into the cells. The increased calcium entry during action potential leads to an increase in inotropy and contractility. Now that we understand how the receptor works, it's easy for us to understand the results of blocking this receptor, especially in patients with myocardial infarction which results in the relaxation of the heart muscle. Beta blockers classify as either non-selective or beta-1 selective. Non-selective agents bind to both beta-1 and beta-2 receptors to induce antagonizing effect. Examples of a non-selective beta blockers are propranolol, carvedilol, sotalol, and labetalol. Examples, however, of beta-1 receptor selective blockers like atenolol, bisoprolol, metoprolol, and ismolol only bind to the beta-1 receptors, therefore they are also known as cardioselective. Beta receptors are found all over the body and induce a broad range of physiological effects. The blockade of these receptors with beta blockers can lead to many adverse effects. Bradycardia and hypotension are two of the most common adverse effects caused by beta blockers. Fatigue, dizziness, nausea, constipation are also widely reported. Some patients report sexual dysfunction and erectile dysfunction. All beta blockers, especially in patients with cardiac risk factors, carry a risk of heart block. It's worth mentioning that beta blockers are contraindicated in asthmatic patients. That's why it's recommended that only beta 1 selective beta blockers can be administered to asthmatics.